Hello guys, I found this particular news item from PIB of 10th July 2021 to be very important. Uh, this is from the Ministry of Science and Technology. The Department of Biotechnology has found out a genome that is responsible for the high salt tolerance of this mangrove species. So I hope you know what mangrove means. I don't want to elaborate on the importance of mangroves and the basics behind mangroves. You can read them from your basic textbooks. But the reason behind this particular news item being very important is they can lead to application based questions. So this particular species called Avicennia marina is one of the most prominent mangroves which has high salt tolerance. Now why are we so worried about salt tolerance? What is the practical utility that we have to understand and use it in our exam? We know that we are in the era of Anthropocene that is all the developmental models or the decisions we make are human centric. We don't care about our environment. That is the problem and that has been the reason behind biodiversity loss. So naturally agricultural productivity is decreasing. We are seeing that because of increasing population, water stress is increasing and climate change is affecting our productivity. Similarly, because of the indiscriminate utilization of fertilizers, we are actually increasing the soil salinity and this is in turn affecting the productivity. So by understanding the genome behind the reason for this salt secreting mangrove species, what we are actually trying to do is understand or identify those genes which will help us in creating drought resistant. That is, uh, we want to create crops which can even stand water stress. That is, even in conditions of low water availability, we should uh, ensure food security. That is the purpose of drought resistant seeds. Similarly, since soil salinity is continuously increasing, we also want uh, seed varieties which have high affinity or high tolerance for salinity. Let me also take this opportunity to highlight a few important points as well. I'm not going to explain what pneumatophores are or what YV Paris means. You can just Google them or go through your basic textbooks. But the important points to note here is that West Bengal has the highest number of uh, mangroves or the highest concentration of mangroves in our country at nearly 42.5% of the total mangrove share. So if you take a look at the State of Forest Report 2019, it showed an increasing trend. That is, mangroves are actually increasing in our country. The percentage, etc. is not really important and you can't remember it as well. Another important point is that Sundarbans is actually the world's largest mangrove region and it is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Another important place in news is Pichavaram in Tamil Nadu. It also has a high concentration of uh, mangrove forests. And even Kerala has high concentration of uh, uh, mangrove forests in its backwaters. Similarly, you can find even in Andaman and Nicobar, these uh, mangroves. If you find the content of this video explainer to be useful, please subscribe. And also similarly, you can find the channel of Telegram. You can search for Hindu highlights on Telegram and it goes by the name UPSC highlights. Uh, you can please join that channel for newspaper analysis and how to interconnect with different topics as well. That's it for now. Thank you.